everyone welcome to venus entering libra 2020 grab some tea or cocoa or coffee or smoothie or peach green tea lemonade whatever you find absolutely delicious wear something that is feeling so nice and good for your skin something that makes you feel beautiful and wonderful and soft plush some things this is a Libra at home, finally, after exiting Virgo, which is very critical, very difficult for her to just relax and appreciate. So um, let's jump right into it. This is going to be the 10 minute presentation on YouTube. The extended, which includes all of the interpretations for all 12 zodiac signs is in the link below on the Patreon. So you guys, this is a very big relief for us. Now she will go on to the significant part of her being here is that she will go on to square Saturn, Pluto, Jupiter and Capricorn, but we're not even worried about that yet. This is still a very huge relief and it's, it's very special because this is the day that Mercury retrogrades back into Libra, continuing on before he stations direct to go forward again and then he'll square Saturn twice the first week of November, but we're not there yet. This is Venus making her grand debut. She's made a full trip through all the 12 zodiac signs to come back to where she is at her strongest and at her best. Now, what does this mean for you and in your life? Well, when a planet is in this home sign is when we, we you, can channel much easier and more fluidly the highest expressions, the fullest expressions of those characteristics of those energies. So in this area of your life, and especially if she's going to go on and make any connections to your personal planets or your angles, is going to make it easier for you to be more diplomatic and more careful and more thoughtful, more easygoing, more compromising and more amenable in all the different ways and all the different manners. And, and, and mostly in relationships. So you, it may be that you have a healthier perspective on certain things and you're just like, okay, it's not that bad. I can get through this. But mostly this will be in terms of your relationship with yourself. You'll want to, you know, decorate yourself or just get really comfortable. You'll prioritize being comfortable or you may add extra time for your skincare routine at the end of the day, or you might, you know, wear some clothes that are your favorite things that you kind of just like save for a special occasion, but you're alive. You're waking up today. That's the special occasion. Wear your favorite panties, your favorite shirts and dresses and makeups and everything. Um, it could be also in your relationships, like I'm saying, where you are a little bit more forgiving. You give the benefit of the doubt. You hear them out more because you. it's less about you being right, you getting your way, and more about getting along and creating peace and harmony less about your ego less about pushing your ideas and thoughts and everything into them and being more receptive so that you can help meet in the middle okay it's also about spending money and about okay spending we don't get it back investing we get value back so let me rephrase that investing money investing in things that not only will last but are beautiful that our form follows function okay it's like so you, you want you're gonna want to use your money use your resources invest your money in things that are of quality and things that will add happiness in the form of its beauty to your everyday life so be careful there because we don't want to like get like a whole new wardrobe we don't want to just like break the bank getting new armoires and really lavish things um, which is kind of how I'm feeling this. I'm just like obsessed with like decorating and like researching and learning about all this different stuff. So um, that's all Venusian. That's all Venus and Libra. Okay. We can have better taste. We can have a stronger taste. We can have very much more specific preferences. Also, not just visual beauty but sensory beauty this is why you know Taurus has a connection with Venus as well is because we want to actually have pleasing things around us and enjoy our senses so that also includes smell I've noticed this with Libras and Libra risings and I've had like Libra best friends is that they're very particular just like Taurus is to offensive smells so make sure that everything gets like taken out 
like immediately make sure everything and just for yourself I mean, of course for your for your family whoever you're living with or your lovers but just for yourself if you live alone and there's no one else to tell you to take out the trash take it out for your own for your own life experience or you know wear perfume your favorite perfume just to give yourself this uplift also okay i'm just gonna keep going here also roses roses are the thank you britney spears roses are the highest vibrational frequency of flower i did not know that i learned that from britney thank you britney this is a wonderful season libra season to incorporate the beauty of roses into your everyday life yes keeping fresh roses and you know around you and little petals everywhere but also did you know that you can eat rose petals yes you can yes you can i've made rose petal sandwiches before so you can sugar them and make candied rose petals you can i have a recipe for that too um rose water spray very very calming and soothing for the skin mario badescu has got a great one it's like the famous rose water spray a lot of people make them you can probably make your own as well what else i'm trying to think you can eat roses you can look at them smell them rose water spray comment below if you have any other ideas of how to incorporate roses into your life obviously you can wear them and have like little uh oh brooches brooches i don't know help me those little those things that you know little um, rhinestone things you know so beauty that's the name of the game compromise grace humility tact diplomacy enjoy it because we still have mars retrograding in aries even when he goes direct in november he's still going to go square saturn pluto jupiter and capricorn and then again when saturn and jupiter enter aquarius and he enters taurus next year. so it's like i'm getting a little bit ahead but basically and you ch channel this energy really live it up for yourself in your life so that you are you you do have some stress release and stress relief at the end of the days when that mars is agitating something and you're not getting something that you need something that you want when saturn's like Teach, cramming in all of the lessons that he's trying to teach you in Capricorn before he moves on not to return for another 30 years when Jupiter is like making sure that you integrate everything and Pluto is just like ripping it all up you know use Venus and Libra to make as much peace as you possibly can use Venus and Libra to create as much beauty for yourself and not just beauty for the sake of beauty but appreciation it's about appreciating the beautiful things about ourselves about other people that we value and the things that we already have you don't have to go buy a bunch of stuff you have go th shop your own wardrobe go through and, and polish up your silver i okay i i have been polishing all my silverware um <laughs> it's really like elbow or like the elbow grease like you really put some like into it you know and and just really appreciate what you already have because a little bit of the downside of Libra is that it could be like comparison, always comparing one to another, comparing what I have to what someone else had. No, 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 no. We just came through Virgo, Venus in Virgo, which was already critical, already critical enough. Already feeling like it's hard to appreciate something because it's very critical. So let yourself get off the hook with that, with the comparisons. Just appreciate what you look like now the age that you are now, the size that you are that you are now, what you already have, who's already in your life right now. Appreciate gratitude, be very grateful, cultivate the sense of oh my god, thank goodness gracious. Thank goodness gracious. I have what I have. I am who I am. And then only surround yourself with people that reflect that back to you. Don't let anyone tell you, "Oh, you don't know how to manifest." Why is your life like X, Y, Z? Oh, you don't know what you're doing with your life. Oh, you're crazy. Oh, you're delusional or you're unrealistic or you're ridiculous or you're, you know, all of those sad negative words, like let the, those people be miserable in the corner. Okay. I mean, I tell you guys this all the time, no matter what transits are going on, but every time that something happens, I get to give you a different reason, a different perspective of why and how to do this because it's a constant refinement in life to really put up boundaries between 
our purity and love, truth and integrity and goodness and protect that, that sanctuary, our souls, our thoughts, our words, our bodies, our homes from those outside forces that want to bring it down, that want to um, take our shadow selves inside and, and wake it all up and turn us against ourselves and self-sabotage, all this stuff. There's enough going on. There's enough going on in the world that you, you want to just cultivate your own little sanctuary and build that up as strong as it could possibly be and as beautiful as it can possibly be. So if you do leave the house or if you do just put on what is it, false eyelashes for no one else to see but yourself and your roommate or you, you, someone whoever is like, what are you doing? Why are you, why are you bothering? Or why are you bothering wearing jeans? No one's wearing, no one's going out. But that's their, that's them. If you want to be fabulous and do it up to the nines because Venus is in Libra and you're feeling like absolutely frisky and beautiful and fabulous, enjoy that. Like I said, put on your favorite stuff, your favorite jewelry, your favorite earrings, your favorite suits, and enjoy them. Enjoy your life. Life doesn't stop because of anything. Life is always moving, always changing, always growing, and we're always growing through it. So appreciate everything around you. This is the time for it, and to speak beautiful words of appreciation. I love your hair today. That's a beautiful color on you. I am so happy that I have you in my life. I'm so lucky to have you. Thank you so much for bringing me my tea. Thank you, say thank you, say please, say pretty please, say pretty please with the cherry on top, say, you know, bring politeness and manners back into your life and, and uplift the whole household, uplift your whole family, uplift your whole friendship circle, be the one, be the beacon of Venus, especially, I mean, you, the Libras out there already know what I'm talking about. You guys add that, that grace and, you know, that, that nice high standard of just beauty and gorgeousness to your friendship groups and your circles and everything. So um, we can all channel a little bit of that in some area of our life. And I'm about to, I get, I'm a little over, but I'm about to get into that for all the 12 zodiac signs. So Check it out. We're on Patreon in the Knights tier. Oh, I love my YouTube fam and thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope you really enjoy this Venus cycle. It's, it's a special. It's a special, beautiful energy that we all really need to capitalize on because we're still in the thick of this whole juggernauts of sovereignty. There's still a lot happening. So any little bit of beauty and love, truth, integrity that we can hold on to and, and magnify. Mm -hmm.